Welcome back to the Good Green Home Show with Rich and Shauna. Hey, Shauna. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Normally, during the pet segment and the pet care segment, it's all me or uh-huh, a special guest, but this subject, allergies... It's dear to my heart, I guess. You know, here's the thing. You're I have, allergic to everything, I'm you? allergic to everything. Are you everything. one of those people when you were a kid you had like the inhaler in your room did. they didn't have that back then that they didn't know really what allergies were when i was a kid they did um but they didn't understand how to recognize it readily and so when i was a kid i was always sick with bronchitis and pneumonia uh i would miss weeks of school every year and i, I had my tonsils out probably unnecessarily because oh. they thought that would cure the problem and of wow. course uh there is no cure like that for allergies the real cure is to abstain for what from whatever it, it is that makes you allergic and gives okay. you an allergic reaction. So in the household, and when we're talking about pets, mm-hmm. the number one problem, especially for small children and babies, is carpet. Yeah. Carpet oh. holds all of the hair, the dander, uh, but poo, oh, everything that a pet drops. I, when I dump out the cylinder from vacuuming for, oh. from just from once a week, I'm going, this was in my carpet and only after a week? Exactly. So I I'm so, yeah. oh I get gosh. so concerned. Some uh, I've seen people that put fancy carpets in their baby's rooms and stuff, and I'm like, please oh. don't do that. Um, young children are more sensitive than ever because of all the environmental chemicals that are, they have exposure to right now. Mm-hmm. And so they're more likely to have allergens and asthma and concerns. So we don't want them to have allergies. Here's a few tips on what you can do with your pets to help keep the allergens down so that the the kids and the adults don't have so many allergy reactions within the house. Okay. So the first one is, um, so if you do have carpet. Mm -hmm. I do. I'm not a huge fan. My wife likes having the carpet everywhere because it's soft and comfortable. But uh, it is not good too much you. carpet. Yeah, no, I actually we removed all the carpet from our house except one room. I'm still working on that one room and we have either tile or wood floors. Mm. Uh, but if you can't remove all of your carpet, vacuum consistently. And, oh, yeah. And this isn't just about once a week. If your family is having a reaction, you need to vacuum more than once a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you let pets in bed with you, do you oh. sleep with your dog? Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> but I don't let my dog in our bed because it's just too much the hair and getting on the pillows okay, but and the thought you, of laying on the dog pill, like the, uh, you know, I laying, know it's the icky. Dog. And you are and an I'm exception. I'm sure it happens somehow from the... You You're know. an exception because so many people say, I want to have that pet in bed with me. And that's a cat or a dog, yeah. any critter. My dog's too big to really to be in bed with us too, <laughs> But though. I've seen people with those giant bull mastiffs that sleep with their bull mastiffs. And that's cool if you want to sleep with your bull mastiff. But here's the thing. The thing is, is that you should be washing your sheets, particularly if you sleep with a dog, more than once a week. So twice a week, and you have to use extra hot. So we got one of those new washer and dryers that has an extra hot cycle. Mm -hmm. And so the water Ah. is like boiling hot. So we use cotton So it kills off some of the germs? It kills off. Here's what kills. It kills dust mites. It kills allergens and dandruff. Have you ever seen a dust mite under a microscope? Oh, it's horrifying. Ew, they're ugly. There's this carpet cleaning company that was sending out literature and advertisements. On the cover of it was a dust Dust mite mite. like zoomed in with a microscope, and it really grabs your attention, and then it says there's millions and millions of these for every square foot of your carpet, and I'm like... There is. Oh, my God! Uh, No, and the worst is they are sleeping in bed with you because when you have a warm hot, dark place, that's when the dust mites grow. Mm. And so when I first learned that from my allergist, I, you know, I had a conniption over it and I started washing my, you could actually wash your sheets every day, but it's just, I don't have enough time for that. Well, yeah. And that's not environmentally no. safe either yeah, with yes. all the water weight, you know. But. So twice a week with the washing the sheets and hot. Then the next thing is I sleep every night because mm. I remember I'm a severe case, but I sleep every night uh, with a HEPA filter running. Okay. And so I have, it looks, my husband jokes, it sounds like an airplane is landing in our bedroom every night because it's really? noisy it's a loud fan. One? Yeah. But now I can't I've travel some, without a fan noise. Got some quiet 
pretty <laughs> quiet ones on the they market. They do, though. but this is an astoundingly huge one, and it sucks all the air in the the room, and it really focuses it. Uh, so did that you steal then, it from a hospital or I something? I didn't. They have in near Industrial my house. Stray. There's an allergy store near my house that sells allergy products, but you can get a HEPA filter machine online. So there you go. Some easy tips on how to reduce your allergen factor in your home. From your family pets. Mm -hmm. That was some great information, Shauna. The Good Green Home Show is all about great information. It is. And next, we are going to have a delicious cocktail called the Blue Balls. <laughs> I can't wait. I we'll be right back with the Good Green Home Show. <laughs> Is your lawn being ruined by moles and voles? Bonide has the solution. Bonide Mole Max is an effective repellent to use against moles, voles, rabbits, gophers, groundhogs, squirrels, skunks, and other burrowing animals. The environmentally friendly Mole Max formulation makes it a great product to apply in areas where children and pets play. Just apply three or four times per year to send nuisance animal pests away. If your lawn needs some repair from mole damage, use Mole Max RX with Lawn Revitalizer. This will help repair your lawn while repelling the moles and voles. Bonite's Mole Max and Mole Max RX RX are available in a granule and easy spreader application or in a convenient five pound shaker applicator for flower or vegetable gardens. Bonide products are family made in America. Bonide Mole Max Mole and Vole Repellent is available at your local hardware store, garden center, or farm feed store, or go to bonide.com for a retailer near you. This product is not for sale in Indiana. Hi, Rich from Alsa Poma Nursery in St. John here to remind you to think outside the box store and shop at your locally owned Best of the Northwest Indiana Region Garden Center. Alsa Poma Nursery, the best of every season. In Frankfurt on LaGrange Road in St. John on Route 41. See their weekly circular at allsipnursery.com. <laughs> 